Hi guys, this is Michael here. So in this video, I'm going to show you the basics of the if function or the if formula in spreadsheets. And I'm using Google Sheets to do this. So we've got three sets of data here. We've got a five, we've got the word Bob, and we've got a text box or a, sorry, a tick box, a tick box. And as you'll notice, the value of a tick box in Google Sheets is true or false, which also corresponds to a one or a zero. It's binary. Okay. Now over here, we're going to put in a formula for, we're going to look at this cell A3 and see what we can do with it. So we start off our formula with equals, and then we're going to type in if, and then open brackets. It doesn't matter if it's lowercase or uppercase, it really doesn't matter. If A3, so if I click on that, is A3 equal to five? We put a comma, and then anything after the comma is what will be the value in this cell if this little test is true. This is called a logical test. It's telling us that that's true, but what are we going to do if this little test is true? A3 equals five. We're going to, we could do a, another formula, we could do a, a sum. We could just write something or put in another value. For this one, I'm just going to put a word. Um, this, oops, this is a five. Close uh, quotation marks. So we're going to put in a string of letters. Put a comma. And if this is not a five, if A3 is not five, then we're going to go, this is not a five. Five. And then close brackets. Let's hit enter, see what happens. This is a five. Let's change this to something else. This is not a five. See how it's changing automatically. Five. Not a five. What if I type in the word five? Well, it's not a numeral five. We're kind of tricking it a bit. But it's looking for, is this cell the value of five? And that's how we do it. Now, let's do another example. We've got Bob. We'll follow the same sort of um, idea. So equals, we type in if, open brackets, and we're going to do what's called the logical test. So what are we going to do? We're going to test this cell. A4, is A4 equal to something? Is A4 equal to Bob? Okay, same thing, that's our test. We need quotation marks for strings. This is a string, a string of letters. This is a string. So it's not it's not a value, it's a string. It's not a number, it's a string. Now, after the test, we put in a comma to divide the test between what is what do we do in this cell if that's true. If that's true, we can say, hi, Bob. Whoops, quotation marks around that because we're using a string. Hi Bob. Put a comma, whatever comes after the comma now, what do we do if it's not true, if that's not Bob? Let's say another string, who are you? Okay, close quotation marks, close brackets, parentheses, and let's hit enter. Hi Bob. Let's change it to Bill. Who are you? Bob. Hi Bob. What if we change it to lowercase? No, it still recognizes lowercase. It still recognizes that string as Bob, even though it's lowercase. One more example. Tick box. True, false, true, false. Remember if we tick it, it means this value is true. If we don't tick it, this is false. So for this one we're going to go equals if open bracket. Um, we're going to the test is what is this cell? Uh, is this equal to true, comma? And if it's true, we're going to put another string and we'll say ticked, ticked. And if it's not true, so put our comma, if this test is not true, then we're going to put not ticked. Close brackets. Not ticked. Ticked, not ticked, ticked, not ticked. Interesting. Ah, so the mistake is 
we're looking at a string here. I've put in a string. Is a5 equal to a string called true? Well, it's not. So, because even if that was ticked, is that a string called true? No, it is a true false, but we don't, this is not a string. This is a binary. This is a Boolean type of data is the other word for it. So we need to get rid of the quotation marks, quotation marks, sorry, and just ask, is a5 equal to true? Not a string called true, just true. Let's hit enter. Not ticked, ticked. Not ticked, ticked. Let's do one other thing back to this one. This is a five. Let's change this from A3 equals five. Let's change it to A3 is greater than five. And then we'll change this to this is greater than five. This is not greater than five. Okay, this is not greater than five as a result because five is not greater than five. Five is equal to five. What if I, what if I put 5.1? Is that greater than five? Yes. What if I put uh, 5.00001? Still greater than five. What if we put in a four? No, it's not greater than five. Five is not greater than five. Six is greater than five. We could do other things here. We don't have to use phrases. We can change that to numbers. So if it's greater than five, we're going to put another number. 10, otherwise one. So if it's greater than 5, we're going to put in a value of 10, put in 5. If it's not greater than 5, put in a value of 1. These are just arbitrary results. That can be anything you need it to be. You could do a formula here. So here's the basics. If, and then what is the logical test? Put in the test. What are we testing? And if that test is true, we put that after the first comma. And if the value is false, put it after the second comma. So I hope that was useful. I hope, for, hope it made sense. And thanks very much for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.